All right, so here we are back for another rain barrel video. I guess this is going to be part four in, the, in a series that I never intended to be more than one video, but um, I've had my first sort of uh, user request for a video. So a YouTuber by the name of Mark Levinson messaged me to say that he would like to see the pump in action. And I thought it would be neat to do some experiments that sort of compare the flow rate and the pressure of uh, the rain barrel pump to my city pressure sort of out in the yard. Uh, assuming those are the kinds of applications where flow are going to matter, right? So I've showed you how you could connect this to your toilet. You know, if it flows a little bit slower than the city water, so you can't flush your toilet as fast, I'm assuming that's okay. Um, I, I don't know what else you'd be using this for other than, you know, watering your yard and maybe flushing your toilet. If anyone has some other ideas about tests they'd like to do, I would love to do some more user requests. So with that in mind, let's go do Mark's uh, tests and, and see how this stands up to the city water pressure out, out in the yard. Okay, so we're going to try a couple tests here. I can't really think of a better option than this. So this watering can holds seven liters. I've got my house water on this hose. We're going to time a couple times how long it takes to fill up to seven liters to get a sense of the flow. There's, there's, I know you can buy like flow meters, but I'm not going to buy one just for this test on YouTube. So I'm going to start the stopwatch on my phone when I open the spigot. <clears throat> Riveting. You can see my phone is broken. It's overflowing in 28 seconds. We'll go water some plants and then uh, we'll try it again. Okay, this is empty now. Let's do it one more time. Six seconds or so, and it's overflowing. Okay, and it's emptied again. One more test. We'll do this test number three, just in case there's any variability. So 27 seconds and we're overflowing. So we'll empty this again and then we'll try the rain barrel pump. All right, so here we are over at the rain barrel spigot. This is empty. We're gonna do the same test. Set my phone. I don't know if you can hear the pump going. Hopefully you can see. There you go, we're overflowing 52 seconds. We'll go empty this and we'll do it two more times. All right, I'll do test number two. And 51. Here we are for the third rain barrel test. <laughs> 
and then overflowing at 51. So the flow rate's about half as much. That seems clear. The next test I thought of is I have this sort of hose attachment, uh, and this hose is 100 feet long uh, attached to the house. We can put it on its various attachments. I've got the hose right next to the camera. So there's a jet from the house. Let's see how far it goes. Pretty much to the, just past the lawn. Put on the shower. And it goes about two thirds of the way past the lawn. So the jet can go all the way to the garden. The shower goes about two thirds of the way. And I'll measure that distance when I'm done here. So let's attach this to the rain barrel and see how it compares. Okay, so now we're gonna do the same thing with the rain barrel on the pump. You can see the jet goes about pretty much the same distance. And I've got it right beside the camera here. And the shower, significantly less. Uh, I'd say it goes about a third the distance compared, well, it goes half the distance that the water one went. So it covers about a third of the distance to the garden, but the jet does about the same. Just in case my angles varied, no wants to be sure and go back and rewind. So yeah, um, it can get pretty high pressures. You know, like if you put your thumb over the hose, you can get it to go a bit higher. Um, I think that's what's going on with this jet. It's constricting the flow, which is increasing the pressure. But if you aren't doing that with the shower, you get significantly less distance. So there you go. There's my experiment with the rain barrel pressure head to head with my city water pressure. Hopefully that's useful to you. Um, I think a better test probably would be to put this to a sprinkler, but I don't actually own a sprinkler because I don't really care what my lawn looks like. My guess is that if you got one of those wavy sprinklers, um, this may not push it as far as you used to. But if you've got one of those kind of sprinklers, it might actually work okay. Um, yeah, so thanks to Mark Levinson for the idea for the video. If anyone else wants to see any more ideas with the rain barrel, or you have any suggestions for other videos that I can make, I'd love to hear them. Um, thanks for watching and thanks for the suggestion. Please subscribe, leave a like, uh, leave a useful comment with suggestions, um, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.